Hello everyone, my name is Daniel Thoman and I'm a technical trainer at Siemens Building Products. Today I'm going to show you how to easily integrate the RDG200 KNX thermostat to a PXE automation station. This will enable you to create energy efficient rooms benefiting from flexible and cost effective installation. Here you see the four easy steps with the AP Design Engineering and Commissioning tool. Let's have a look at the first step. Starting point is an existing ABDS high project with a defined building structure and an assigned PXC5 E24. Within the PXC5 E24, a primary plan with a heating cooling circuit to serve the RG thermostat has only been engineered. This plan has been added from the primary library with a drag and drop and includes all energy efficient functions to coordinate energy supply from the primary. The first step in APT side is we are switching from building structure to the engineering editor and we are jumping directly to the KNX P-Link editor. Here we see the KNX P-Link bus. We are going to open the library and in the library with a simple filtering with RDG you find devices which are available in the library. We are taking RDG 264 and drag drop it just to the KNX P-Link bus. This takes a little moment. And now we are configuring the, the thermostat. So we are switching to the configuration editor. And here the next step is to select an application type. In our project, we want to use a four pipe, six port valve with changeover for the PICV. In the application configuration, we have to adapt according to the project requirements certain parameters. For example, the room operating mode, we are going to change to auto, comfort, economy and protection. So we are more compatible to the Desigo system. The next thing we want to display on the RDG, the outside temperature from the system. So we will activate this parameter. And in addition to this, we also want to use the Windows contact to make sure when the Windows is open, we are switching from comfort to protection. This is the input two we have to change. Okay, and then as a last step, because it's a PIC application, we also gonna to adapt the, the max position for heating for the PICV for the nominal airflow to make sure we have no hydraulic problems at the end. So we will, for example, take 85%. And as well for the cooling sequence, we take 95%. This is according to project specification or the normal flow. Okay, so now the application is configured. And as a next step, we are going to the programming part. So we're switching to the programming editor. In the programming editor, we are going to the resource folder. And within the resource folder, we have another subfolder, which is called KNX P-Link and this folder we can find our created device, the RDG200. We expand this device and then we find the so-called device chart, which is a pre-programmed chart specifically for the RDG. We open this with a double click. And here you can see all the prepared interfaces, the so-called XFPs, which can be used to interact with the primary site. And as well, you can do your uh, project specific adaptations if you want to expand the functionality for the RDG. Once this is done, we are going back to ABT site. We are closing the configuration editor and we're going to uh, rename our device. For example, let's call it room number one. So we have basically prepared our sample and we want to have two additional devices. So we just duplicate it. So we get another one. And we want to have also a third one, so not a duplication. And then, of course, we also have to rename the new created uh, room thermostats. This can be simple done in the table. So we make room number two, room number three. OK, so this is more or less the engineering part, which we have done. The next step, the step three is the assignment. We can do it offline, which is the preferred way. Or you could do it also online with using the service pins of the devices. The offline has advantages that we can use just simply the serial number of the device. And here we have a very nice feature because we can use a barcode reader. And just by reading in the barcodes from the devices, which uh, are on a sticker in, in the package, 
you put the sticker on a floor plan so you know also the location you just simply scan with a scanner so first one second one and also the third one so we have automatically read in the serial number and this is enough just to auto assign then the device when you do the download so next step is you're going to start up and we just re-download the changes to the automation station this takes a little moment we are just waiting until we get the feedback from the automation station and as soon as it's downloaded then the pre-processing in the automation station will start and will just automatically assign the RDGs so basically you do not have to do any single step more the RDGs are already commissioned if necessary to modify the devices due to a change in the project requirement simply replace the device and the control will adapt the programming to the newly added device. Yeah, that was it. The simple steps to engineer the RG thermostat to the PXE controller. See you next time in one of our automation trainings or tutorials. Thank you very much.